My name is Leili Mortazavi and I'm an undergraduate researcher at the Laboratory of Molecular and Behavioral Neuroscience at the University of British Columbia. Uh, unfortunately, to, uh, due to the recent reenactment of the U.S. travel ban, I wasn't able to attend the conference in person. Uh, so today, through this video, uh, I'm going to uh, present an overview of my research that I would have been presenting at the conference myself. On a day-to-day -day basis, uh, we all have to make choices regularly to uh, allocate our cognitive resources for lucrative outcomes. Though this may seem trivial to us, um, reduced willingness to exert cognitive effort is observed across a wide range of psychiatric disorders such as depression and schizophrenia. So in this line of research, we're interested in, in understanding uh, how this kind of effort-based decision-making is being regulated in the brain. To do this research, uh, we modeled this um, cost-benefit decision-making in rodents um, in a task called the RAD Cognitive Effort Task. In this task, uh, the animals have to choose between two options where they perform a cognitively demanding task uh, that differs in the level of difficulty. So what they have to do is uh, they detect a brief visuospatial light stimulus, uh, which is going to be a bit longer for the easy trials and a bit shorter and thus uh, harder to detect for the harder version of the task. If they complete the hard trial of the task successfully, they receive twice the amount of the sugar pellets that they would, have, they would receive for successful completion of the easy trials. In this experiment, uh, we examined the role of the pathways between anterior cingulate cortex and basolateral amygdala, uh, and we used a disconnection technique to functionally disrupt signaling between these two structures. What we found was that uh, a subset of animals who initially preferred the high reward option decreased their choice of this option. Uh, subsequent manipulations though showed that this effect was uh, solely explained by unilateral inactivations of the basolateral amygdala alone. This shows that basolateral amygdala plays a very important role in guiding effort-based decision-making uh, even when inactivated unilaterally.